So what am I going to report on today? A Eurosat style refurbishment possibly happening to Euromir as well as other details on their next big roller coaster project all from Europa Park. <laughs> Hello there guys, my name is Coach Chad Donkster, but I'm both built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News update from Europa Park in Roos, Germany. Now before we get started, big shout out to Brian Galeas because he requested another shout out. If you want to shout out in our next video, comment down below and I'll give you your shout out. As well as that, make sure you go check out our videos from the past few days. Uh, in this past week, a lot's gone on in this past week. We've had a news update from Serengeti Park. We had a news update yesterday from Universal Orlando with the new Born Stuntacular show to make up for not having a video a couple of days ago. And of course, the review and vlog from York Maze Hell of Scream. That's online now as well. Uh, big shout outs again to Tom and Stace. Pleasure to be experience. It's a stakesy thing. Uh, and of course, Emily, who we saw at the event as well. Your photo is in that uh, Hell of Scream review. Not in the vlog, but it's in the review. But uh, I think I think it was you that outside Corny's Carnival that vlog bombed uh, in the vlog. So you made it onto the vlog and the review. <laughs> so big shout out to Emily, Tom and Stace, pleasure with experience, and it's a Stacey thing, as well as Brian Galeas for this video. Again, shout outs in the comments down below for the next video. So this theme park news update is from Europa Park. I must stress that all the information was read from a forum. It's all rumours, not confirmed either way, so you can comment down below uh, whether you think this is going to happen or not. Uh, what would you like to see happen, if not? So the first thing we have to talk about is Euro Mia. Now, of course, first of all, Eurosat Can Can Coaster is the re-theme of the Eurosat roller coaster. It was a Moulin Rouge re-theme, it was a few retracks here and there, and then there were some slight adjustments added to the ride this year as well after the mixed reviews it got. Uh, in its opening season. Now that style of Eurosat refurbishment has been reportedly rumoured for Euromia. Now we don't know when this is going to happen. However, all we know is that's the type of refurbishment rumoured, rumoured for this Euromia. Now Euromia is the max spinning roller coaster, the family spinning coaster at Europa Park. And it's, it's rumoured to have this major refurbishment like a Eurosat type refurbishment. So again, comment down below your thoughts, what do you think about that one? Personally, in my opinion, I think it might happen, especially with, you know, things like Storm Chaser at Paltons Park uh, and different things like that. You've got many, many, many uh, different uh, new gen max spinning coaster tracks for the families uh, that they can invest in. So I think we could see that new gen track being arrived into the Euro Mia uh, layout, give it a retrack um, and stuff like that. I think that could be the case with this. Uh, so again, comment down below your thoughts. What do you think is going to happen with this? Uh, now let's move on to the second uh, of our rumours from Europa Park, and that's some more details on their next big roller coaster project. Now the next big roller coaster project is according to RCDB State of 2021. However, with the stuff with Scandinavia's fire last year, obviously that's reopened. That looks absolutely beautiful, by the way, if I might say so myself. Can't wait for the Pirates of Batavia Dark Ride to reopen next year. Um, so yeah, that's all been rebuilt with Pirates of Batavia reopening next year with its sort of uh, rebuild. I guess the coaster will be delayed for another year or two, like a 2022 to 2023 project. Uh, that's just my personal opinion. But we do have some more details and some more rumours, reported rumours uh, for all of it, on this new coaster project. So I'm going to put an image on your screen right now. Now that is a Mac Extreme spinning coaster and that is because in a... Um, interview uh, now whether that's still on the interview article or not it's on blue loop they did an interview like an exclusive interview with Roland Mack on his uh, 70th birthday I believe happy birthday Roland Mack if you're watching uh, <laughs> uh, and basically uh, like I said it might not be in the article now it might have been removed kind of like the Drayton Manor situation when I sort of talked about them in the process of selling GeForce but with Roland Mack's interview I believe if it's still on there then unfortunately it's not if it's not on there, it will be quoted on a forum, on the Coast Force forum, so make sure you go and check it out. Uh, I basically expressed an interest in Time Traveller, which is a Mac Extreme Spinning Coaster, which is the image you can see on your screen. So this pretty much says to us that an Extreme Spinning Coaster could be on the cards for the next big roller coaster at your own park. Now, rumouredly, in terms of location and stuff like that for the new coaster, it will most likely be an Eastern European country themed area, so that's Romania, 
Croatia, maybe Poland. Uh, they could do some nice dark myths with it. Uh, now, Scotland was an early prediction, an early sort of a uh, sort of assumption. However, that has apparently been abandoned, so Scotland won't be happening. Especially with you know another German park, Hansa Park, doing their Highlander drop ride with the sort of Scottish uh, kind of theme there. So uh, I can see why they've sort of abandoned the Scottish theme at an early stage. But it looks like Romania, Croatia. Now this is set to be located behind uh, behind Greece and beside Russia, which is currently used by the Traumatica Halloween event. Now you're probably thinking, well that's not really true because Traumatica Halloween event is on that site. Well the rumour is that Traumatica, the Halloween event, is rumoured to be receiving a permanent housing in the basement of the new area. So the, new, so the Traumatica will actually happen in the new area once it's been built. So that seems so basically where Traumatica Halloween event is now, that's rumored to be the location of the new area with the new roller coaster. Like I said, behind the Greece area and beside, not be, so it's behind Greece and beside Russia. So in terms of uh, theme rumors, um, I think with uh, I think people have been batting on Poland or Czech Republic, of course they're neighbors to Germany and both having a Darth of folk tales and history to be investigated. So we could see some more gothic themes for this coaster. Uh, now, of course, like we said about Scotland with Hansa Park, very unlikely. Um, and then also, there's been sort of discussions. Um, well, there was well, we thought there was discussions um, about possibly it being a brand new concept. Um, there was rumours that it was set to be a new kind of coaster, while also being a mix slash combination of other coaster types. So that's an interesting point to take out of this. Um, a new coaster with a mix or combination of other coaster types. Now, whether that's linking to one of their more recent concepts with the extreme spinning coaster, you know, it's a spinning coaster, mixes inversions, it's a new concept, it's a new type of coaster, but it mixes inversions with a spinning coaster. So maybe that's what we're linking to here. I mean, I personally, I'd like to see an extreme spinner at Europa Park. In my opinion, some people may disagree and say, oh, well, it makes Euromir obsolete. Unfortunately, for, in my opinion, it personally doesn't. Just for the fact that Euromir is a family spinning coaster, this is a spinning coaster for the thrill market and people that just aren't brave enough for your, uh, uh, aren't brave enough for this, but are brave enough for Euromir. This is for people brave enough to go on things bigger than Euromir. So it's all about different levels. In my personal opinion, if they do invest in an extreme spinning coaster, I'll be happy. But I do have that qualm of they could have done a different type of coaster. Now, many people have said a Matt Invert, not the Arthur, wrote, not the, like the Arthur inverted power coaster dark ride type of coaster, but like a proper like a B and M invert, but made by Mac. Uh, it would, it, in my personal opinion, it would look like the uh, Intamin suspended looping coasters. Uh, if Mac decides to do one of those, a Mac SLC maybe. Uh, I think a couple of people said they want to see a Mac dive machine uh, somewhere online. A Mac dive machine would be brilliant. Uh, I think Mac, could, Mac Rides could do dive machines brilliantly well. Um, and obviously, whatever type of coaster this is, obviously with the extreme spinning coaster, uh, expressed and in, uh, with interestedly expressive words from Roland Mac about this coaster, you know, he's really expressively wanting this coaster in that article uh, with Blue Loop. Make sure you go and check it out. If it's still there, if it's if it's not there, don't worry, it should be quoted on the Coast Force Forum in the Europa Park topic. So make sure you go and check that out online. Uh, so there is reported interest for the Extreme Spinner. There's new other new concepts they could invest in. I don't think we're going to see a Power Splash now. I think that's probably further down the line. I think I'd love to see a Power Splash at Europa Park, but I think maybe it could happen down the line, but yet again, like I talked about with the Extreme Spinning Coaster, it mixes a spinning coaster with inversions while being a more recent slash new concept. So it mixes that sort of rumoured statement of it being a new coaster with a mix or combination of other types of coasters. A Power Splash is a new concept and technically it mixes Water Coaster and Shuttle Coaster. So. You know, you can have your positives and negatives about whether a power splash will be accepted with that personal statement or whether an extreme spinning coaster, 
would be acceptable with that personal statement? Would it mix? I think with the ex with the reported expressive interest in an extreme spinner and with that statement, that rumoured statement of it being a new type of coaster with a mix of a combination of other types of coasters, I think the extreme spinner, in my personal opinion, fits that bill. So I think my early prediction for this next big coaster project will be an extreme spinning coaster in that new area where Traumatica Halloween event is now. That will be moved to the basement of the new area and of course... Um, like we said, it, it's definitely going to shake things up at Europa. So, uh, so to sort of summarise this whole video, it'll be an extreme spinning coaster in... I'm not going to predict the theme of the area. I th I'm going I'm to leave that open, but I think we are going to see an Eastern European country. So, a Romania, a Czech Republic, a Poland, Croatia, something like that. And in terms of the Euromir retrack or refurbishment, I could definitely see that happening. But just not you know recently i think that's further down the line i think we're not going to see that for a good few years yet but i think you wrote part do like to plan in advance we look at arthur and the minimoys kingdom that was planned way back in 2012 that opened in 2014 so they like to plan a couple of years in advance so i think we could see the euro may retract refurbishment in a couple of years down the line so thank you very much for watching this theme park news from update on europe park make sure you comment down below your thoughts and theories uh, what, what would you like to see done with your Amir if it's going to be re refurbished? Do you want to see a retract? Do you want to see a retheme? Do you want to see both? What could it be rethemed to? Uh, and stuff like that. Comment all your thoughts about that down below. Thoughts about the next coaster down below and theories as well. Comment it all down below or reply to every single comment. Make sure you like the video if you've loved this news update. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell for more theme park news updates. And for now guys, my name is Coaster Shout. Keep living the coast of life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, have an awesome day, my friends.